Oi, Oi gente. gente! Hi guys, my name is Gideon. And I am Wayana, and today we're gonna talk about some verbs that we think that might help you to have an easier communication here in Brazil. So keep watching! So we've selected five verbs that we think are the most important, and we're gonna give you a few examples of them in the present tense. So let's start with the most important of them all. To eat. Comer. I eat cake. Eu como bolo. In this case, you add an O after the root of the word. She eats cake. Ela come bolo. You add an E after the root of the word. We eat cake. Nós comemos bolo. In this case, you add an E-M-O-S. Emos after the root. They eat cake. Eles comem bolo. In this last case, you only add an E-M after the root. To eat. Comer. Eu como bolo. Tu comes bolo. This term for you is not used in São Paulo. It's only used in other states. Ele come bolo. Ela come bolo. Você come bolo. Nós comemos bolo. Eles comem bolo. Another example would be the verb to drink, beber. I drink coffee. Eu bebo café. She drinks coffee. Ela bebe café. We drink coffee. Nós bebemos café. They drink coffee. Eles bebem café. To drink, beber. Eu bebo café. Tu bebes café. Ele bebe café. Ela bebe café. Você bebe café. Nós bebemos café. Eles bebem café. So as you can see, the same rules apply for the two verbs. However, in the verb to speak, falar, the verb ends in AR, falar. So the conjugation changes. So let's go. To speak, falar. I speak Portuguese. Eu falo português. Just like the other verbs, you add an O after the root of the word. She speaks Portuguese. Ela fala português. In this case, you add an A after the root. We speak Portuguese. Nós falamos português. You add an A-M-O-S after the root. They speak Portuguese. Eles falam português. You add an A-M after the root. To speak. Falar. Eu falo português. Tu falas português. Ele fala português. Ela fala Português. Você fala português. Nós falamos português. Eles falam português. To see, ver, is not a regular verb in Portuguese. As you can see, the ending of this verb is quite different from the others we gave before. Right, and also, just like in English, in Portuguese we have a few irregular verbs that do not follow the basic rules of conjugation. So let's see an example. To see, ver. I see a cat. Eu vejo um gato. She sees a cat. Ela vê um gato. We see a cat. Nós vemos um gato. They see a cat. Eles veem um gato. To see. Ver. Eu vejo um gato. Tu vês um gato. Ela vê um gato. Ele vê um gato. Você vê um gato. Nós vemos um gato. Eles veem um gato. Another common example would be the verb to make or to do. Fazer. I make pasta. Eu faço macarrão. 
She makes pasta. Ela faz macarrão. We make pasta. Nós fazemos macarrão. They make pasta. Eles fazem macarrão. To make. Fazer. Eu faço macarrão. Tu fazes macarrão. Ela faz macarrão. Ele faz macarrão. Você faz macarrão. Nós fazemos macarrão. Eles fazem macarrão. It's important to know. It's important. It's important to It is important to know that in Portuguese, the verb to make can be used differently when compared to the English language. For example, in Portuguese, I can say eu faço faculdade, which means I go to college. So, if you want to do a direct translation of this sentence, you'd say something similar to I do college. And we both know that it's not grammatically correct to say this. So, in the future, if you want, we can make a video showing the difference between make and do. So that was it guys, I hope you liked our video, and if you did, don't forget to give your thumbs up and subscribe. Ciao! Go on! So let's see a few examples. Let's see a few examples, see. not happening right now. <laughs> <laughs>